1000 subscribers welcome back to my channel guys guys you know the routine if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button if this is the first time you're seeing my channel for the first time please subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification bell so when I upload the content you'll be the first to receive my content now today I'm going to do some stew conk I'm going to add some coconut milk in it and I'm going to also add some white rum in it this is just my way of doing the brown stew conk so I'm going to walk on it through the step of doing the brown stew conk so I'm going to fire ketchup pot a boil up so I'm going to add the season and the conk in the water now with some salt I make the conk go and cook and then next I go cook the peas because conk can be tough at times so I go cook the peas separate and I cook the conk separate guys so right now I just done catch up my fire I go fab my pot you know, so that's easier to wash off so and then I go um, put on the conk on the fire so I go show you know, what I go on I have the conk, I beat the conk. I put it in a clean plastic bag and beat it just to get it tender. So now I have it in a some vinegar water, right? And the pot of boil up, as you can see. And I have some salt, I have two stalks of scallion, I have three cloves of garlic, I have a green pepper. So I will go ahead now. I'm going to place the scallion. I'm going to add three cloves of garlic. I'm going to add one green pepper. I'm going to add in the conk in the pot. I'm going to make the conk one cook. And then I'm going to add some salt. Just a bit because I don't want it too salt. I'm going to leave, you know. And in the meantime, I'm going to put on the piece same time as I explained earlier. I'm going to cook the piece different from the conk because conk can be tough at times. So, what me recommend if somebody going to cook the conk for the first time, I recommend you at least pressure it for 10 to 15 minutes in a pressure cooker. But this are just Caribbean vibes way of cooking the conk because you know it's an outdoor channel. So we have to do the thing outdoor. You guys, I never remember for telling you that me actually I do a big chicken for my big sister right now too because for the past couple of days like some of the subscribers who live close to me they drop off some chicken and I was um, so busy doing some big chicken for them. Now she says she want big chicken so she drop off her chicken from last night so I get up and season it from last night and but now me have another the outside jump go and be so I go care when you go to show you what I go on because it will catch color good so I just monitor it and monitor my food same time when I look about to the vlog so I go check on the chicken to my sister you know go on good I go and catch color and thing so I just monitor it make it come out perfect Guys, I'm going to add on the neck. So I'm going to add in the peas in the pot now. Guys, got the water boil up. So I'm going to use, use two cloves of garlic. And these are the peas. So I'm going to add the peas and the peas go and cook. Check on the conk, but don't scald now. You still have give five more minutes, and then we take it off, make it cool off, and cut up. Then we season it up. So we just done cut up the conk. So I use some scallion, some ginger, one onion, some chop up thyme, some cracked pimento seed, and I use the ripe pepper there. I'm going to use some garlic powder 
I use some all purpose meat season and I go add little browning just to add little color to the meat. I go, go ahead now and add in the season. So I add in the ginger. I add in the chop up scallion. Pepper, thyme, pimento seed. I add in the season, which is the powder season. So I'm going to add a little bit of browning, like a teaspoon of browning, just to add the color to the meat. I don't want the meat, the meat to a dark. So hit. So now add a little bit more. Tasty, just to make sure that it is not too salt. Mm -hmm. So for the baked chicken sauce, so basically I'm just straight now box some of the juice off of the chicken. So I'm gonna use some orange juice. I'm gonna use some ketchup. I'm gonna use one tablespoon of honey. I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika, and I'm gonna also add some fish and meat sauce. Honey. I'm going to add a little bit of paprika. I'm going to add some of the orange juice. For. I'm going to want it too watery, this sauce too watery. I'm going to mix it. Basically, it's just a base for the chicken because the chicken doesn't cook already. So, I'm just going to Use the paintbrush and just base it over the chicken. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the fish on first. Let me shake it up. It. So I'm just a shake it up, and then I'm gonna add just a little bit of the fight. And the fish and meat sauce. It's a basic sauce where I'm gonna help it add flavor to the to the um to the base where I make for the chicken. That are the sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit more ketchup to it to make it have some more body. So I'm gonna add a little bit more orange juice to it. So I'm gonna put on the first coating of sauce on the chicken. So I'm gonna cover it, but now I make this a coating dry, and then I'm gonna put on the second coating. So I'm gonna use two coating of this the sauce on it. So the kung fu. Season up as I did that explain to one in the video. So the pot not hot. I think the pot hot now. So I'm gonna go add in the kung fu now. So Peas in a heat and then I go add the coconut milk. I cover it, make it produce the owner liquid. So guys, I'm just a check on the conk. So I go add the peas in a heat and make the conk and the peas cook together. Then five minutes after, I go add the coconut milk to make everything cook together. So 
rice. So I'm going to add the cookies in the corn pot. Stew kong. So next up, I'm going to add the coconut milk and make it go and simmer down. Then I'm going to add my carrot, my sweet pepper, my onion, my thyme and my scallion. So basically, I'm going to just sweet season back up the pot and add my ketchup and some fish and meat sauce and then that's it. Guys, I'm going to check on the chicken for my sister. I may add on the second coat in a sauce pani. So that I hit you know and she has to send somebody to come pick you up. So I don't want you know, you know in the comment section and I talk about you know, a big piece of my sister chicken because I don't want to give you none of this a chicken today. Because this I want to go straight to my big sister for your new year. So big sis, big up yourself, happy new year. Coconut milk, you know, the corn. Then go and simmer down. Caribbean vibe did it again. Another great vlog. So, this is my way of stew corn with coconut milk. As me explain, I'm going to add some white rum in a dish. You know. I mean, you know the rum come from sugar cane. You know say it's gonna help it add a flavor to it. I mean, just a strain, in the meantime, just a strain out the coconut milk. I you know say it's just natural coconut. I mean, I mean blend, blend and add it. But guys, the fire hot, so I have mean, to like take time. So I'm going to cut up the season, re-season the pot, of course. Guys, you know see me, right? So the pot is bubble up. So I'm going to turn the cover as usual. So I'm going to re-season the pot. So to re-season the pot, I'm going to use some purple scallion, Irish potato, onion, carrot, thyme. I'm going to add in Irish, onion, carrots. I'm going to stir. Make everything go and simmer. Next up, I'm going to use my Jerry and Neville. I know it's an overproof rum. I know rum comes from sugar, cane. So I'm going to add some of the rum. And that is my way of cooking stew kong. So I'm going to make it go and simmer down. So, guys, last uh, I am going to add a tomato and some sweet pepper
finally so I will send him off now guys look at that you come not much just a little bit additional flavor in the corn and then the last thing is the grease tomato ketchup and I'm storing the grease tomato ketchup and big up the grease tomato ketchup Nice ketchup to use. You know, see, I still kong today. So for all the kong lovers, get enough plate ready. Still kong up. Yes, sir. So I'm just wait for it to just dry down a little bit more and then I heat that. So we are going to check on the conk. Let's go and see. Now. Yes, sir. So that are the stew conk coconut milk. So guys, the last thing we have to do, I'm going to cook some vegetable rice. We put the pan fire and boil up so I'm going to add in the vegetable I'm going to use in the pot I'm going to add some salt in the pot I'm going to add just a little bit of salt like one teaspoon of salt I'm going to add some thyme some chopped up sweet pepper some tomato Stick of butter, scallion, and let them go and boil up and cook. Boil up, cook, any one of them, guys. Right? Boil up and cook. Let's have a boil up before you cook, right? Vegetable rice. Guys, we also go add some mixed vegetable work because they can mix vegetable. I know they already cook already and process in the tin. So the last thing I hit I go add in the pot. So I don't want to add it before the rice because I don't want to get too soft. So that is the reason why I go add it after roll. vegetable rice rice so we are check on the rice the rice done cook you know done steam so you know the dinner done cook you know so I go sort out some of the dinner and make you guys see what I go on for the dinner so this is the stew conk and I have piece of boiled sweet potato and my vegetable rice and my raw veg and I'm garnishing the plate with some sweet orange guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel